Let's solve a question on finding average velocity and instantaneous velocity from a displacement time graph for a simple harmonic motion. So here we have a student who extends then releases a mass attached to a spring and a graph of the masses displacement over time is shown below. So we can see a displacement time graph and we need to figure out average velocity between 0 and 3 seconds. So 0 and 3 seconds and the instantaneous velocity v at time 2 seconds at time t 2 seconds. As always pause the video first try this one on your own. Alright, let's first look at the average velocity. Now from what we know, from what we know average velocity, we can write average velocity. Average velocity is this is equal to delta x divided by delta t. This is a change in position divided by the time interval. We know the time interval here is uh, between 0 and 3. So this is this is 3 minus 0 and delta x. This would be the position, the position of position of the mass at time 3 seconds. And that we can see is plus one centimeters. So let me write one minus the position of the mass at time zero. And that is four. We can see it is with, it is at four centimeters. So this is four. So when you work this out, this becomes minus three divided by three. And this comes out to be equal to minus one centimeters per second. All right, now let's move on to the second part. We need to figure out the instantaneous velocity at time two seconds. So if you want to figure out the instantaneous velocity at time 2 seconds, we need to figure out the slope of the tangent at this particular point at t equals to 2 seconds at this point. And a tangent, tangent is a line which just touches the curve at the point of interest. So let's let's try and draw a tangent, tangent which is touching the curve at 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 this at this point, which is 2, 4. Uh, it looks somewhat somewhat like this. Touching the just touching the curve at t equals to 4. And now, now we have drawn the tangent line slightly extended because we need to figure out figure out its slope. We can plug in values. We can try and figure out its slope. So when when we do that, when we do that, this would be slope. This would be. We know that slope is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So for this line, for the red line, y2, we can take two points. We can take we can take this point right here and this point right here. So for y2. It's starting from 5, ending at 3. So this is 3 minus 5. Y2 is 3 and Y1 is Y1 is 5, starting from 5. Now X2, we don't really know what X2 is, but we can still try and estimate. This can be somewhat around. This can be, let's say, this can be 2.25. Could be 2.25. And X1, again, we don't know what that is. So we can still, again, try and estimate. This can be, this can be 1.75, approximately one point. So approximately 1.75 so now we can write 1.75 in place of in place of x1 and this comes out to be equal to minus 2 minus 2 divided by 0 0.5 so when you work this out this is this is minus 4 minus 4 centimeters per second we have a minus sign because we can see that the slope the slope of the tangent it will be negative the red line will not have a positive slope it's a it's a negative slope so the instantaneous velocity at 2 seconds will be will be negative and it is negative 4 centimeters per second